Hello space fans, uh, welcome back to the channel and um, today uh, I'm well I've noticed that the uh, Photoshop video was uh, was pretty popular here on the channel so uh, I am gonna record another one. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm working up a background for the last shot that you saw and I've got here three uh, images of terrarium uh, shots that I took. Uh, these are photos that I took of these weird kind of terrarium environments. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them together into a big uh, background uh, image that will kind of work for uh, the background of the uh, the first area in the game. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the canvas size. Uh, you know, before I even do that, I'm going to make sure that yeah, I'm going to turn my I'm going to that what I just did here is I made my uh, layer independent, so it's not a background. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, change the canvas size to 300% wide and let's say 200 tall. It's going to give me a little more room to work with and put the, the current image on the far right. Okay, and now I'm going to come here, copy this one and paste it in here and copy this one out, paste it in here. Okay, so now what I have is kind of a, a, a shape that kind of the 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 have of sort of an island is what I have and it sort of starts here goes across there and then sort of finishes there but uh, I'm seeing it doesn't exactly line up so I'm gonna start over here and line it up about there so that that looks about right and then I'm gonna line it up here so that the ground uh, let's say that's the top of the ground right there and that, that lines up pretty good um, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and overlap them just a bit and uh, overlap and put this one on top overlap it just a bit uh, I have to readjust where the top is there okay that's looking pretty good um, now I've got some some discrepancies here in focus some of this stuff is a little bit out of focus here and this stuff is more in focus um, and for that reason actually I'm gonna go ahead and move this even more uh, in and I'm gonna put the middle piece on top because that's the one that is primarily uh, in uh, sorry here it is in focus. Um, I keep getting the wrong one. Okay, I'm gonna put the middle one on top, and that's the uh, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna take the, these two in the back and kind of push the more out of focus areas uh, out of the way, and there we go. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Um, now I'm gonna take this layer here uh, in the middle. And I'm going to start kind of uh, getting rid of some of it and shaping it out there so that it blends with the uh, the next layer over on the left. And that's looking pretty good there. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to come in and edit this background area um, quite extensively. But uh, this this will give me a good kind of starting place. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Um, let me look at the water here. Get the water a little bit more blended. Okay. Um, and obviously one big difference here is the light level. And I really want to go um, a little bit darker with all of it. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, adjust the levels a bit and bring this down to match the other backgrounds just a bit closer I'm liking that okay so those match a little bit better now um, and I'm gonna change my flow just a bit and just kinda knock down some of this to blend these oops, to blend these two areas together just a bit better okay so now I'm gonna come over here and do the same on this side um, yeah I wanna keep that tree it's a really cool tree definitely keep that and uh, just kinda come down here and yep. you know what I'm gonna up my flow here because I, I want a bit of a harder edge because I do wanna keep some of these little bits and pieces that are that are sticking out here because they are more in focus and they're covering up stuff uh, in the background there uh, on the right that are less in focus 
So let's keep the good stuff. Okay, um, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to do a little more work to blend. And what I've got now is I've got a lasso tool, and I'm going to give it a, uh, let's say, a 75 uh, pixel feather and come around here. I'm going to grab this stuff that's supposed to be kind of underneath the overhang, and I'm going to knock it down quite a bit. And I'm also going to blend it uh, a bit toward, I'm going to grab the greens here and bend it a bit toward the yellow. Uh, looks like greens isn't really grabbing much of anything. So I'm going to adjust this to figure out where my greens are. There we go. Okay. And now I'm going to, yeah, there we go, shift it just a little bit yellow. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to get it a little bit closer to the tone of the greens on the right, just on the right of it. And, um, okay, yeah, that's, it's looking, looking better. Um, I'm still not really liking that, that difference in focus and one of the problems there is that it's very difficult to change something like that um, to to take something and give it more you know focus and make it m tighten that focus and sharpen it um, that's that's a very difficult thing to do uh, now it's matching great here okay um, getting getting shaky about this point and then uh, focus just changes dramatically as we go this way so I've got some choices here uh, I could just cut off quite a bit of it and come all the way over here and looking at the length overall of this uh, background that's probably not a bad idea but I do have some other options um, and I'm going to explore one of them now. Now, over here, we have some stuff that is quite a bit, uh, it's considerably more in focus. So I'm going to just grab some of it. And this is one of those, those interesting things you can kind of borrow from way over here. And if you change it up enough, you're not going to really notice. Um, let me flip it horizontally. You're not really going to notice so much that it, it, it came from another part of the image uh, if it is sufficiently altered. Um, and we can do that by, I, I'm now stamp, rubber stamping from all layers, okay? And I'm going to dramatically increase my brush size to speed this up a bit. And I'm going to just draw some some of these in here and that's going to get me shrink this a bit um, that's going to get me here we go a little more detail down there uh, that won't really be recognizable from the other part of the image because I'm kind of redrawing where all of these details are where these these little um, roots you know are and, and the, you know, the way they're shaped and where they're going um, there we go okay and uh, going to what I'm gonna do now is sink them into the water just a bit right here so that they appear to be kind of disappearing into the water and there they go um, and of course I'm going to uh, get rid of them, maybe not quite so drastically, but I'm going to, to kind of paint them out a bit uh, in their original form, again, to just kind of keep them from being quite so recognizable. And what we're doing is we want to just reshape these these uh, these roots enough to not really recognize where we borrowed them from. 
Okay, and so that's looking really nice. Um, and as we can see behind there, not looking so good. So I'm going to go the other way, and I'm going to actually paint in a little extra detail right here to yeah sharpen it up a bit. Give me a little bit of a a lip here at the overhang. Some extra sharp little little bits of foliage that uh, that will help kind of blend all this uh, or actually bring all this uh, more into focus. And uh, you know you also have to remember at the at the detail level that we're seeing right now. I mean, we've got a lot of latitude. We can, you know, we're we're not going to see this uh, nearly as much uh, in you know in, in so much detail in the game itself. So the the idea is to get it to look um, acceptable uh, in, a, in a close up, so that it can kind of look amazing in a far off uh, shot. And at this point, we. I've lost that fuzziness. It, it I, you know, it doesn't look fuzzy, fuzzy anymore. So, I mean, that's that's what I was going for, and I'm happy with that. Um, I'm gonna take some of this green or yellow stuff over here and punch in some extra details here. Um, and and again, it's it doesn't really matter so much what I'm I'm putting here as long as it's kind of matching in the the uh, the level of of, of crispness and. Uh, and sharpness and and you know it, we're kind of matching the quality around it um, because again this is all going to be kind of set into the background it's going to have some uh, there we go it's going to have some fog and some stuff on top of it so it just has to kind of look decent it doesn't have to be um, it doesn't have to hold up to close up scrutiny okay so um, when we got some similar problems over here and what I can do here is probably just move this in a bit because there we go yeah um, I think that'll that'll give us plenty to, to work with there and uh, maybe add a bit of a, uh, a branch coming out there um, now I'm getting into the, the the stuff on top here, so I'm actually going to switch layers and finish it off on this layer. Now, if I if I you know if I knew that I was going to be doing a ton of of editing uh, editing to this, I would be more careful about doing all my paint overs on individual layers. But you know this is a background. The idea is to do this quick and dirty, um, get it looking good, and you know finish it up. Um, you know, uh, flatten it down and and move on. Uh, you don't want to be working. You know, you don't want to spend all week. You know, messing with uh, with a background image because these things, these backgrounds are going to be again. They're going to be lightened up considerably. They're going to be set uh, into the distance. Um, they're going to be faded out quite a bit. And you know, when in doubt on these, I'm just going to erase a little bit and it'll kind of blend it in with the background. Okay. So uh, I've gotten rid of that obje objectionable fuzz area there. Uh, and now I think I have a neat uh, island that goes from, from stretches from the, the left of the screen, kind of comes forward a bit, and then comes around. And I'm going to work a bit on uh, yellowing this area out to, again, match. Uh, the uh, the back the, the images in the background and that's how I'm gonna uh, this is how I'm gonna isolate that like this and now I'm gonna just uh, look at that just twist it just a bit over to the yellow so before after uh, and using techniques like that I'm gonna uh, you know brighten it up a little bit right here in this patch and uh, and little by little it's going to start looking uh, fairly well blended together uh, there we go. So now it's starting to blend this way. Uh, so uh, yeah, there you go. Um, and that's an overview of uh, creating some background imagery here. And I will be back with more later. Thanks.